when I came out, like my, I was always like being chiquiao, and like I still am. But like when I came out to my mom about like being gay, she was like very much. I was on my way to Burlington. <laughs> I'm like, but you I t- came out on your way to Burlington. Yeah, I was like, you know when like you're gay and you like just get that urge to be like, I'm gonna come out right now. That's what I said. I was right like, now. mami, te puedo decir algo? And she was like, que And I was like, pero no te puedes enojar. She's like, yo no te puedo decir que no me voy a enojar porque yo me voy a enojar. And I was like, si no entonces ni modo no te voy a decir. And she was like, okay, que And I was like, so yeah. And she's like, no. I'm like, see, and I'm like, no. Wait, that was her answer? You were yeah, like, I was like, no. She was like, no? And I was like, she was like, pero has estado con mujeres, ¿por qué no? And I'm like. Wait, you been with women? No. Oh. But she was like, has estado con like asking like, oh, have you been with women? And I'm like, no, pero yo sé que no me gusta. And she was like, entonces, ¿cómo sabes que no te gusta esto que lo otro? She's like, es diferente esto que lo otro. And I'm like, mom, and she's like, ¿quieres estar con un viejo o qué? And I was like, sí. And, I'm, and she was like, ay, pues no sé. And after that, she was <laughs> like, ay, pues no sé. That is their she was, favorite line. She was on, I was on TikTok at this point, and like, I was posting content as normal, pero people didn't know. I had my suitcase ready in case like I got kicked out. Mm-hmm. Like, I had like my stuff ready, and I was like still posting like normal, like nothing happened. And that's why when, when I say like, oh, people don't know what's actually going on in your life, because people are like, could, people could be like oh comadre is like completely fine i was so sad and so depressed because i'm like the one the like the people that should love me aren't loving me right now mm-hmm. and i might have to like i told my friends i was like if i tell you to come pick me up come pick me up right away and i had in my suitcase like toda la ropa que yo like i love the most like the, my favorite clothes in the suitcase because i was like the, knowing how my family is they won't let me come back yeah, we'll you had your favorite clothes by like i had it right next to my like my bed and i was filming tiktoks like sin nada and i'm like oh that's why i say like ustedes nunca saben lo que anda pasando en la vida de la gente your favorite oh, they- clothes back there. You smell like laundry, by the way. I love how oh, you thank smell. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, it's because I washed it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> you had your favorite. Yeah, so I'm like, that's out. why I'm like, coming out isn't easy. It's not. It's nada, nada de fácil. Pero no <sighs> mm-hmm. Oh my God. They didn't like, they didn't like uh, suspect it. I feel like they did, but it's that thing where it's like, you tell yourself it's not true. Yeah. Like and so I confirmed it to her. She was like, no. Right. And so now she even told me, she's like, that's wrong. This, no, que el otro. But like, at the end of the day, I still love my mom. Pero she still has trouble, like, accepting it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. No, Which I is where I come, bo- I come back to, like, the more, like, me da pena. Like, Are you me the da- only boy? What? No, I'm the other. Like, there's another boy in my family. Which I'm like, oh, why y'all mad? Like, there's another one who can, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I have sisters. I have brothers. Like, I'm not the only one, pero. Usually when it comes to like homophobia and stuff like that, I come back to like, me da pena para ellos que ellos no pueden mirar lo, lo, lo que yo miro, you know? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. yeah. it's like, you guys are so into like, that mindset that you don't see what I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. But the, I don't know why that, um, having your favorite clothes packed up comment was so I was like, deep. Cause like because the way yeah. my, cause I know the way my dad is. So I was like, if my dad, even though the clothes are mine and stuff are mine, when he gets mad, he's very much like, uh, my daughter used to be an alcoholic, so I know how he gets. He's very much like, no me importa, te sales como te sales. So if I didn't have my favorite clothes packed, I wouldn't be able to take them. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's not something I tell a lot of people, which I'm like, I'm sharing on here, but I'm oh, like, no, I was yeah. very like, I was very Thank scared. You. Like I even told like a couple, I think of the friends I told, there were three friends. I was like, oh, Rosa, Hannah, like Vanessa, Tori, like our four. I was like, if I tell you to come pick me up, can you come pick me up like really quickly? Like my mom, I just told my mom and like, I don't know if she tells my dad, like I know it's not going to go good. Yeah. So I was like, what clothes do I love the more that I'm like, I'm going to take them with me. I know. I, I just, I, I just feel like that thought process of like, knowing that you're picking your favorite clothes, you know, it's just like, it's like sad. And you were one of the friends that, that's so mm-hmm. sweet of like that's why knowing. like I always take Tori everywhere and I'm like if you don't like Tori I don't like you cause I'm like <laughs> ella estaba ahí cuando, Tori you should when, get lit I'm just which saying is why I'm just on some like I always like people my mom and my family are like oh this goes to to ser tus amigos en vez de nosotros que somos tu familia es come like when I didn't have my family they were my family right exactly of cause like I know that I could depend on them when yeah. it came down to nothing else you know 100% which is why like I feel like with my friends now I always like try to like take care of them most I can cause I'm like they didn't know it but they were the only thing I had mm-hmm. when I came out do you want to make everybody cry right now because you're about to make me fucking cry like what are you like oh my god like i love you like if everybody in this bitch don't fucking absolutely fucking love you like what are we like i okay. and it just shows you're like, making me uncomfortable what you can first hi- of all what you can hide because i'm like I during that you. i was posting videos like happy and everyone thought that, like <laughs> nothing that. was happening happening that. behind the scenes but i'm like tu nunca sabes lo que alguien está-, which is why like even though like i can be mean sometimes i try not to be because i'm like you never know what someone's going on mm-hmm. yeah like i'm like over here laughing making jokes but on the inside you don't know like in my house like my my dad's not talking to me my mom's like 
not accepting me for who I am. Like right. I might be homeless. Like not a, you never know. Yeah. No, but you're a, you're very um brave for yeah, that. you too. And I, not that. No, no, not really, not really. Because I'm not gonna lie. I was a I was a full grown adult. Más huevos que yo? Porque I wouldn't get tattoos on my neck or on hands because I'd be scared of what my parents would say. So you're braver than me. <laughs> my parents. I'd be like, oh no, me importa, but at the end of the day, me importa. I just act like it doesn't porque no quiero que sepan. Pero you're brave. Everything is valid. You know. Thank Thank you but like sometimes your parents have to disappoint you to a level i held my parents i was a monaguilla like straight up like i was like church choir my parents want to be monaguillos i mean i was like no they're nerds no i did it i was, a I was like no i was one of them nerds so in the choir in the monaguilla in the ccd and all that shit i was i was everything my parents wanted me to be right but and i'm not gonna like expose like my family problems be only because my dad will kill himself but um <laughs> some things were done in my life and in my family that when we found out and i'm sure I'm, you can guess when we found out it took my dad from so it just got it to the point where it was like i i dare you i dare you to tell me what the fuck to do with my life for the rest of my fucking life so again here we go why i didn't talk to my dad for 14 years is because sometimes you find out some things about your parents that you're just like everything i ever believed is a fucking lie mm -hmm. and so now Like, I wish you would. I wish you would because I've got some feelings mm -hmm. to fucking talk to you about. And I feel like it comes down to the same thing. It's like, when you find out of all these things that, like, your family has done or, like, that people accept, I'm like, si hay un Dios out there, I'm like, the things I've done are nothing compared to that. Like, mm -hmm. yo soy una buena persona. Like, Who you telling? Yeah, like, I'm sorry that I, like, love someone, but I'm like, if the only thing that I'm guilty of is love, then I'm not worried. Like, I'd rather go to, like, en donde sea yeah. for loving someone, you know? Exactly. And it's like, if the the quote-unquote god that created me automatically like if i'm like predisposed to being hated by a god that created me like just for literally like you said like loving whoever i love like mm -hmm. then like, i don't want to be with if that something god. that comes out of a, like a place of like like passion and yeah. like um empathy is bad to you then i don't want to be good exactly yeah like Earth i want to be bad then good. like yeah. that like i don't care yeah yeah And that's, and that's, again, that's what kind of happened, like, within me, is, like, I think que me retacaron en, en el pinche closet so fucking hard. Oh, my God. <laughs> te voy a dar I otro cuando you. acabemos el podcast, te lo ya voy a dar. Ya me acabé mi pinche shot, así es que right. tómate conmigo, because, like, I, we're, we, we can deep. Pray babe. for me, pray for me, because... This pray for me because we yeah, Tori you're taking the, half of this for no, me no she already took the whole other one I'm gonna back her up because don't back her go back Tori te toca don't, te toca this one's for you Jimena no but straight up um I feel like the majority of my life was so thrown like deep in that fucking closet because of what they instilled in me that it, if it wasn't for the fact that like that whole shit came crumbling down that's I think that's the moment that I was like Oh shit! Like, what the fuck were y'all doing? Like, what are what are you fucking talking about? So eventually, I was finally like my true self, and I came out very late in my life. And I, I a lot of times like talk to people who came out early in their life, and I'm just like proud, but also like like I'm I'm like proud, I'm happy, but I'm also like damn, like I wish I would have had. I get that though, you know, because when I was I had came out to all of TikTok before I came out to my family. My friends knew, of course, but I told them, like, this is what I feel like made my mom come into perspective a little bit more. I was like, Mami, ¿cómo te sientes que yo, like, yo me siento más a gusto decirle a todo el internet, millones de personas quién soy, antes de decirte a ti? Mm -hmm. I was like, ¿no te afecta que, like, yo les tengo más confianza a ellos que a ti? Porque yo te tengo miedo, yo les tengo miedo a qué me van a decir. I'm like, porque lo que ellos piensan de mí no me importa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pero cinco personas en mi vida que me importa, eso es lo, lo más grande de mi vida. Mm -hmm. I'm like, y yo le puedo decir a cinco mil, cuatro mil, lo que sea, personas, y no me, no me afecta nada. Mm -hmm. Si sí. ellos dicen que mátate, lo que sea, pero que ustedes me digan algo que no te queremos así, eso a mí sí me afecta. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, I feel you. Like, that's the same thing with my brother, bro. Like... By the time that whole thing happened with my family, I was like, man, fuck them. But when I had to come out to my brother, which my brother is like my fucking literal like... Porque it's like, it's her whole world. Life. Like, like, and so I had that conversation know. with him and I was like... Like, I don't even want to see but if you're not gay, you don't know what it's like to have like your whole world like almost fall apart and you be left with no one because of like what you are. And it's like, the thing is, it's not bad. It's just like letting them know of more information of who you are mm -hmm. yeah. and who you love. Yeah. But, But I also algo think that like just being gay or in general, yeah, just being queer in general, like it gives us 
more of a like i guess fire under our ass i feel like so many queer people are so i guess like um successful because like we have that fire under our ass to yeah. prove so much more mm-hmm. than everybody else because we have to be like okay like rising above like you know what i mean to yeah because like be my cousins like i love them but like some of them like they just do normal jobs right and then like me luckily gracias a dios like i like have the like this tiktok career like hopefully que pueda seguir <laughs> verdad but i'm like i feel like i always have this pressure to like prove myself to my family even though like let's say one of my cousins works at t-mobile nothing wrong with that love t-mobile i want to have a party in t-mobile because of the <laughs> lights but the pink lights are so cool i want to say that t-mobile sponsor me ah but <laughs> I feel like I'm always like trying to prove myself even when I don't have to because I'm like they beat me at the fact that they're straight so I have to prove myself more than them Mm -hmm. you know what I mean and it's like it's not a healthy thing to do but I feel like it does motivate me to the point where I'm like I need to be more I need to be more like I know I can Mm -hmm. you know yeah i don't know if that makes sense or if i'm no. drunk One no of the two. no no, no. Yeah. absolutely it's just sorry i saw the comment that said we need to see jt and i was thinking about like i was like looking at that mic and i'm like i mean jt could technically JT, be here come over here what are you doing like if we can take bring my that mic bro, I feel like three is a can crowd. he take my seat while i go pee i mean no like if go pee because i'm okay. gonna have to go pee at some point okay. so like we both need JT, to come sit in this chair no, I'm JT, no put it in the middle okay i'll be i'm gonna go pee be right, right back okay. go pee we'll have a seat and then we'll do, Okay. No, but like if we like here's the thing though too is I love that because both of them are so young that you motherfuckers came out and also I've met your mom, JT. So like <laughs> I love y'all. But like for me, me retacaron hasta la pinche last corner of the fucking closet because it was so quote unquote like wrong that like I couldn't even think of potentially I was telling I was telling you when a girl named Janelle touched my neck in middle school i thought it was the i thought i was going to hell like bro i'm not even telling you like it's not even like i i wanted to do it for the internet no this is pre-internet this is she touched my neck and i whatever it made me feel made me want to like shower a hundred thousand times and it made me feel so wrong like this is medieval times in the gay world by the way not not even really because still you have the 90s and the 80s but just what i felt was so wrong that i was like it's like okay perspective first time i cussed i think i was eight. First time i ever fucking cussed i was in mexico in huichipila zacatecas mexico by myself no parents nobody i washed my own mouth with soap that's how much of a fucking square i was i put soap in my own fucking mouth because i said a curse word and i couldn't deal with the guilt Thus, but, the guilt kink, by the way. However, me lave las manos, whatever. No crean, no crean. Me, las, me lave las manos. <laughs> Can we just talk about that? The fact that I was by myself in Mexico and I cursed and I washed my own mouth with soap. So, when I was in middle school and a girl named Janelle touched my neck and told me I was cute, I felt so guilty that she did that that I, like, ran away and I never wanted to talk to her ever again. By the way, I thought she was... I mean, now that I think about what my feelings were, I clearly thought she was cute. But I just couldn't deal with it that I just, like, ran away from it. It's, like, damn near, like, I'm pretty sure, like, that's, like, on... Like, I was... I think I was on... I think I am on the spectrum at some level, right? I feel like we all are at some point, yeah. right? you know? So, so I just didn't know what to do with it. So then, you know, I go through my life and I'm trying to be, like, quote, unquote, normal and, you know, live my life. And eventually, like, once my parents fell from whatever the fuck i had them at that's when i was like (laughs) am i gay (laughs) and then that's when i tried it out and i was like oh i'm fucking gay okay cool so that's when everything else fucking happened and that's where you see me where i am now so when i see people as young as y'all that have come out and that have also had support i'm just like so happy and proud of y'all and i like i feel like at like to a certain degree like it becomes a part of my journey in life to like talk about that and to like hype yeah. that up and to be like fuck yeah to the point where like my, i have a 12 year old right so like i always like hit my conversation with him has always been like or whoever you're into mm-hmm. but like you know he's mm-hmm. straight i know that now because he just be like i'm not gay i'm he's like you're gay i'm not i'm like okay <laughs> cool whatever but i'm just trying to be a very progressive mom like or even my brother Period, though he didn't like use a date and that, i would say even that even if my you know that you're not I feel like having that support, knowing like my mom loves me no matter what, yes, is something that means that means a lot because not everyone can say that. And mm-hmm. you're a really good mom for that. Thank, yeah, thank you. 
don't make me fucking cry but thank no, you yours, but like not everyone can say that like yeah. i wish i could say that but i can't like that's why like with my friends like with tori over there and jimena and bianca and like um hannah rosa like all my friends they're my family because i know that no matter what i say or what i choose yeah ellos van a estar ahí conmigo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah so you're an amazing mom thank you so much i wish i would have had i wish i would have had that like when i was growing up because i would that would have that would have like solved so many of my issues i feel like growing up like the thank confusion you. like todo like being scared thank you because no one should be scared in their like household, in their household. Yeah. and i'm glad that your son isn't thank, Eres you. Una mama buena. thank mm-hmm. you thank you and, and you know and i and i agree i agree oh. <laughs> <laughs> i'm scared he was like be my mom no i'm just okay. no, no but no straight up yes but also like i agree with you i wish i had that support in my life that now maybe i get it a little bit more which is very weird because when I finally saw my dad after 14 years he was supportive of, of my relationship at the time but maybe it's because he's attracted to very young women but you know <laughs> we're not going to talk about that but you know like anyway, with me let's talk about <laughs> I've always said I wanted <laughs> you know, to adopt like, mm, I've always yeah, said I want no, I'm, <laughs> listen I've always said I wanted to adopt and whoever I get I want them to just like know like oh like gang, like whoever you love like it's okay with me like as long as you're happy and healthy like that's all that matters to me like no importa like I'm not gonna change like how I think about you or like que pasa like it's okay mm-hmm. no. like tu feliz and I'm feliz that's cool <laughs> so you want you definitely want to adopt would you ever like want a child would you ever conceive maybe but I honestly in my in mi cabeza and mi little chinmoya I think like if chinmoya. I love you en- if I love you enough like it is mi familia like no importa mm-hmm. like if you say you're my kid and I say you're my kid eres mi chiquillo yeah. y ni modo oh. yo te quiero yeah. y quien que si tú quieres casar con un con una señora un señor lo que sea con que estás feliz yo soy feliz yeah. I love that that's so fucking awesome wait I'm gonna start this shit on back on you talk to them because you're beautiful ass we've been talking mm-hmm. about you this whole fucking time mm-hmm. la belleza yeah. la belleza fucking nuestra belleza latina nuestra <laughs> <laughs> yeah. belleza a ver, what Tell them you did about? this hair first of all. Oh yeah, I'm a hairstylist of y'all. I know. The entire <laughs> fucking time. My new hairstylist. Yes. Oh, yes. Omg, can we please get you in the wig? Put put Dino. one of the wigs you put one of the wigs I already paid Pon for melo. like right Pon now. Melo. Put it. Pon melo. Oh Bad bitch. This is actually and gonna turn into a mess. I have class. a bunch of wigs at home. <laughs> I have pink wigs, blue wigs, green wigs, you black see wigs, wigs, brown wigs, blonde wigs. No más no más. Es que I sneak into frat parties. Porque they'll be like, oh, girls getting free? I can be that for you. Okay. I can be that. Me los pongo. Yes. I'm just flash this. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Hey. Oh, we made it. Persinate, mijo. <laughs> I'll, I'll do but it back you. to coming out the main person that I was who was the main person you were stressed coming out to I me coming out to Ito I thought I was gonna die really I thought I was gonna die but die. once I'm not gonna lie he didn't make it very difficult for me he was just Ito's very in, uh, intimidating and very stern so I just was very like right. but once I came out to Ito I was like the rest of the world I don't give a fuck That's like crazy. I feel like it's like a weight off he your shoulders he was the person or you can breathe normally yes. like it's like is there anyone in your life that you felt like once you came out to them me mommy Oh. Like my mom. Like, I'm a mama's boy. Yeah. Mm. Like, I'm like, I love my dad, but I'm like, at the end of the day, my mom doesn't love me. Like, ella es la que me cargo, la que, like, me chiquillo. I'm like, after I came out to her and she was like, she said no at first. She's like, no, it's gay. But afterwards, she kind of, like, got a little bit more open to it. She was kind of like, I was kind of like, like, not let me port. Like, as long as my mommy can love me, like, I can love myself, too. Aww. You know? Yeah. I mean, honestly, I was more scared to tell my dad, but I never ended up telling him. I told my mom, and I just let her figure out to, what to do with the rest. And because I didn't care at that point, I, what was crazy is I never liked my dad. Like even when I was little, like I would tell my mom, like I don't know why you're with him. Like I don't yeah. like him, like for no reason. Um, I mean, I know all the reasons now, but <laughs> um, same. same. <laughs> but um, yeah, then I never told my abuela either. What was crazy is that you know, like I'm half Mexican, half black. Um, my Surprisingly, my Mexican wella, like she, she never cared. I didn't never have told her I'm gay ever in my life. Like I just told her one day, like yeah, that I had a boyfriend, and she was like, oh, okay. I like, feel like that's that how it that. is though, because that. like mi abuelita también, and like my tías and tíos, they know I'm gay, but they never ask about it. They just yeah. like love me. It's They're like, just like, oh, like a mí no me afecta, like todo está bien. Yeah. And I feel like that's the best part because it's like unconditional love. Like it's like no mm-hmm. importa qué. They're like, es familia, like te vamos a cuidar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love that. 
Yo, the future is lit, bro. The future is so fucking lit. It is, for sure. Because I feel like... I wonder if my grandma from my dad's side even knows I'm gay. Because my grandma, my favorite grandma, I'm not going to lie, no disrespect to the grandma on my dad's side, but my favorite grandma, she died. So, and she always fucking called me gallina kikiriki. Like, which means oh chicken that wants to be a rooster. Yeah, because I had, a, I'll top it, I had a chicken <laughs> when la compré, she would crow and my, my, my abuelita, she would be like, eso no está bien, pero ni modo la vamos a que, no la vamos, la vamos a cuidar. And I'm like, why is this like LGBT, LGBTQ friendly? Like, she's <laughs> standing. She's like, she's like, if she crows, it's okay. Ni modo. My <laughs> grandma called me gallina kikiriki all the fucking time. This she is knew. Back in the, yes. She knew. So she knew. So she would always call me Toña Machetes, gallina kikiriki, and Juana Gallo all the time. So she been new and she was just like, whatever the and fuck you, know you what? are going. She did that out of love. I like, know. Out of, like, you know I what? Say what, you, I say what? I want to cry. I want to fucking cry. Say what you want to say, but Latinos, Hispanos, like out of the things that we like we are, we, we call like our family like, oh, like Mata flaca, cry. like gordo, esto que el otro. But they do it out of love, out of like, oh, like You're we're like making fun deepest. of you, but also like kind of like we're accepting you. She knew and she was like, te quiero de todos modos. Straight up. Because my grandma, my grandma was so intimidating, but she was so loving at the same time. She was a fucking Scorpio, which is why my beef with Scorpios, because I'm like, oh, and so now I'm fucking, you know. No Scorpio. Slander, please. I straight <laughs> slander the fuck out of Scorpios all the fucking time. Esa niña no se aguanta. Quiere todo porque el pussy sabe a fanta. Si la dejas por pendejo se te casa. Dale todo dos de lengua y una horchata. Si te alcanza. I'm the shit, huh? Are you catching what I'm going for?